If you are wondering where you can get the best Indonesian food well, here in day. New York City, same price. <laughs> We've got you covered. Here's the one place that you can get it. Every month on a Saturday, so it's in the St. James Church here in Elmhurst, it's the New York Indonesian Food Bazaar. It's one of three food bazaars that sets up every year. So there's two that go all year round, including this one, and there's one that's only in the warmer weather. So the creator of this Indonesian food bazaar actually also has her own stall and cooks as well. So we got a big platter here, it's called nasi kuning. So nasi is rice and this is actually a yellow rice that's uh, made with turmeric. There's uh, stalks of lemongrass in here. Uh, she topped it off, toasted coconut cracker. We got uh, three choices with it as well. So we have the beef bumbu rujak, it's a beef stew. We also have a uh, shredded chayote vegetable with some shrimp. And we also got something that's very excited when I heard that she had it. It's chicken liver with the stink bean, AKA Pad Thai. And we also have a spicy egg and tofu and lots of samba, a nice dollop right here. Ooh, very excited, let's check it out. This will be good when you do mm. That turmeric rice is so good. I love that um, toast of coconut on there. And the beef goes really well. The beef's pretty tender. And you got some of that sauce put on top. Let's try the samba. Sambal definitely has more of the fishy kick. It's got a nice spice to it after too. Mm. Now let's try the shredded chayote. It's actually from the Long Tung Sayur. Mm. Gotta get our veggies in. And we also let's try out that chicken liver with the stink bean and the potato. Mm. I love the flavor of that stink bean that complements the liver. The liver has definitely got a strong liver flavor. If you love liver, you gotta get it. You definitely tell it's chicken liver too. Chicken liver has a very distinct liver flavor compared to say beef liver or pork liver. Mm. I think the star of the show here really is this rice. The rice is so fragrant. I love the that lemongrass flavor and all the other herbs. It's really, really nice and that turmeric. Mm. Gotta love a good flavorful rice. Lemongrass is on point. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Do with the method of some people and this is my specialty. Yeah. This dish right here, this is nasi pichel. This is from our also one of our favorite Indonesian chef, Vivi, which she also does pop up pop up uh, restaurant at Indo Java on Thursday. Warung Kamis. Take a bite of this fried tofu first. This one's really looks super crunchy. Let's see. Mmm. Tofu and looks like fish cake in there. Wow, it's a little spicy too. Very good. That tastes like a like a shumai or a dumpling even. It has that kind of flavor to it. A little like wow. I think it's tofu skin. Yeah, tofu skin, yeah, with the fish cake inside. Fish cake inside. Really tasty. Wow. Try the bandeng presto. That's her special. She had one portion left of it. We're very lucky we got here when we did. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Ooh. Right, so you have that flaky fish right here, the meat. Got a slight spice to it. A little gingery taste too. Smokier. So the, the presto is milk fish, but it has almost the consistency of like a mackerel. You know? Good. Now let's try that spicy squid. We love squid. This is the whole squid right here. Smaller ones. Mm. Quite nice. It's smothering that little spicy sauce here. Not too salty. Sometimes you get the, the salted squids. This one's not salty. Cow skin and tofu. Look at that. Also smothering spice. I love that they don't hold back on spice here. Mm. Sure, that cow skin is lovely. I love that. Cartilage. -y. I feel like my skin's getting better by the second that I eat it. That collagen's coming in. Mm. It's nice. It's more mild actually. So it's a little spicy, but it's much more mild than the other dishes. And speaking of spicy, let's try the samba. That rice. 
Mmm. Oh, Sambal is really flavorful. It doesn't, it's not knock your socks off spicy, though it is coming in a little bit right now, but it's a good level of spice. So this rendang right here is a, this beef rendang has absorbed all that flavor. So that's why this is not one of the saucier rendangs. This is more of a classic. Just cook very slow, absorb all the flavors. So every bite, every bite you're getting all those flavors that are soaked in here, that coconut milk and the clove, the cinnamon, all these other nice spices in here. And now finally, let's get some of that. Michelle. It's all the veggies with that peanut sauce. So it looks like there's some uh, water spinach here, some green beans. Mm. I just love that veggie and peanut sauce. It's a great way to eat your veggies with some peanut sauce. It's got a nice flavor, a little bit of spice to it too. But wow. Very peanutty. Delicious. Hey, my cow skin. Sambal. Getting the ultimate bite right here. Mmm. Wow. So we have this uh, monthly Indonesian food bazaar. And by IGA. By IGA, Indonesian Gastronomy Association in New York City. And here we are. And uh, you know what? Every month our bazaar have the different team. Because Indonesia, we have a lot of uh, provinces that we are so diverse. So this month we uh, we present the uh, Ranah Minang is from West Sumatra. Yeah. So this one is the one of the traditional outfit of West Sumatra. Yeah. This one too. This, this one, one too. is yeah. yeah. Very nice. This yeah. one we call with songket right? from uh, like gold. Yeah, from the yeah. gold. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Old skin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 you can touch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Month is not about food, so we have like a culture. Like we bring up culture to introduce to people like in the United dance, States. Like with the, all the fashion, yeah. the fabric, because the dancing, have, the music, the song. We yeah, always, the, the, every month we have different things. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Every province in Indonesia they make rendang, but originally it's from West Sumatra. Yeah, West Sumatra. Really? <laughs> Coincidentally, I'm from Rajas Rendang, so that's my booth. <laughs> oh, that, that rendang, that, that curry sauce. That... So we got the platter here. We got the beef rendang, of course, from Rajas Rendang. One of the coolest names. We would name like Rajas Rendang. How can you not go and order a plate, right? That's a big selling point. And we got the vegetable curry right here, looks some green beans and some more. And then we have the rice that's been covered in this nice gravy. And we also have the sambal ijo, the green sambal. So, gotta go straight in for that rendang first, by itself. So yeah, this is the this is the traditional way. This is the what they were talking about. So. Mm. So the way it's, it's cooked so slowly, it absorbs all the spice, all the coconut milk, all the spices. So it's not really saucy, but it's still very tender. This one is awesome, very tender. You can see the shreds of beef when you use that fork. And you can use the fork to cut it very easily. That's how tender it is. It's so good, but it's still, it's dense yet it's tender. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's some righteous rendang rice. It's Tuesday, we're at Indo Java. Warung Salasa time. A little background day we day we used to run a restaurant called Java Village just a couple blocks from here. One of the first places I ever had Indonesian food and loved it. We are very lucky today because Dewi made not only one, but two dishes. And one of these dishes, she has never made for Warung Salasa before. So we are very excited. It has one of our favorite meat ingredients. That is soup buntut. So that oxtail soup, it looks absolutely incredible. So this broth is nice and brown here. It looks very rich. You see all the bubbles. Uh, definitely has a lot of that fat and goodness from the oxtail. You have chopped up tomatoes, you have celery leaves, not cilantro. Jumi's happy. <laughs> I'm 
pretty sure about that. We have uh, potato and we also have carrots. So this looks absolutely incredible. We love oxtail in so many forms and can't wait to try this. And to go with the soup, we also have a separate sambal. It's a really red, deep red sambal. We also have uh, lime wedges to add to it. So let's take a sip of the soup puntut right by itself. Gotta try that broth. Mm. Very beefy broth. Oh, really like it. I love the flavor from those celery leaves. That, that's, celery is a nice refreshing flavor. It goes so well with it. And you have all this tomato. Mm. Take a bite of that oxtail. The oxtail is just calling our names right now. The fat on the outside, oh man. Very meaty tail right here. Mm. It's so tender. Mm. Try a little bit with some lime too, but wow, even on its own, it's excellent. And we have another one that's really one of our absolute favorite dishes. This is the nasi gurug. So gurug is jackfruit. It's cooked in palm sugar. Look at it, look at that meaty texture. It looks a lot like a pulled pork, so it could be like a meat substitute. But man, this is one of our favorite dishes that she makes. And also on this plate, we also have some uh, spicy beef, we have some white curry chicken, we have tempeh, we have tofu, we have boiled egg, we have the rice that's topped with fried onion. And... Sambal! Sambal! Items on this beautiful plate with that banana leaf. Let's, uh, let's go right in with the gurug first, the jackfruit. Smells so good. Smell that sweetness. Mm -hmm. So good. It's got that nice sweetness to it, that palm sugar, you can taste it. Oh my god. It's very, there's like a little citrusy flavor to it. Mm. I just can't get enough of this gouda. It really is special. We got the white curry chicken. Let's take a bite. Mm. This will go well with some sambal and some rice. Rice. Sambal is no joke. I don't think it's deadly, but it's pretty high up there on the heat scale. It's one there was with braised beef. Pretty much every dish she makes, she makes wonders with. But wow, her braised beef is always on point, and it's not disappointing here. It's a little bit of crisp on the outside too, which is nice. Go in for some of that tempeh. Mm. Such an interesting texture of that tempeh. It's like slightly firm, but it's still a little tender and soft too. Mm. Mix everything in there together. Put sambal in your eyes. Take the beef out. Okay, now I'm gonna put it with the chicken. This chicken. Go. So another Tuesday, another day we day. <laughs> That's right. So it's amazing. Not only we get great food here, we also learn bahasa here. 